If the power and the amount of water in the outer storm bands of Hurricane Milton is any indication, what they were saying about Tampa St. Pete will be as advertised. It will be unsurvivable. Way up here on the northeast coast of Florida and Palm Coast, we have had some surges of wind and surges of rain that would make you think a hurricane was a lot closer than what it was. I'm posting this now. It is about 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and this may be the last thing I can post for quite some time. But I just wanted to once again say thank you to everyone who has offered your support and all the well wishes and definitely the support over at Patreon. This is a picture of Daytona Beach. It's almost gone. Now, Daytona Beach, for those of you who are unaware, is over here on the east side of Florida, not over here. Way up here, and this is Cape Canaveral right here, where I'm circling. It's kind of hard to see, but basically think of about three quarters of the way up Florida on the east side. And the beach is usually way out here where you're seeing these white caps. And it's almost gone already. And the hurricane is now just hitting the west coast of Florida. So once again, as always, thank you. So much for all your sports Patreon. Very, very much appreciate it. God bless all of you. Making a huge difference. It might be the only thing that will be out there for a while. Once we lose power here, it's going to be quite some time, I'm guessing, before they get it back up. And of course, we have the generator here, but you can have all the power you want. But if Spectrum doesn't have service, you know, it's just going to be what it is. So just keep me in your thoughts and prayers, those of you at the Unit commander level, brigade commander level, God bless you guys as well, making a gigantic, gigantic difference in my life. Allowed me to do things to prep for this storm that I would not have been able to without, so saw some pictures out of Cancun and some video out of Cancun as the storm roared by there as a Category 5. It's saying it's Category 3 now, but I don't think for Floridians that's going to make a whole lot of difference, Truly. The, store, the pictures that came out of Cancun looked like something otherworldly. Um, here's some local pictures. And like I said, this is way up here on the northeast coast of Florida, and these are hours old. There are sections of, of neighborhoods that are, for all real intents and purposes, um, islands at this point. You can't really get out. It has been raining nonstop. Let's see, what is today? Wednesday? It's been raining nonstop since Saturday night. And that's not overstating it. Pretty much nonstop since Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and all day. It's been just a solid rain. And that doesn't ever make the news because, you know, there's no category of, of rainfall, I guess. It's only category of wind. But once again, local pictures of roads already underwater, and it's not even here yet. But always want to give a shout out to Track the Tropics. Track the Tropics, T-R-A-C-K, T-H-E-T-R-O-P-I-C-S, just like it sounds. Track the Tropics, everything you're going to want to know um, about the storm. And without all the ads, without all the other stories, and without all the hyperbolic um, opinion about this, that, and the other. And I mean, we appreciate the warnings, don't get me wrong, but at some point you've got to kind of turn that stuff off and just say what's going to be what's going to be. Two days, it'll be gone. In two days, it will be gone from Florida. The way that it's, I'm looking at some of these, though, um, it's kind of hard to see an eye wall at this point on the storm, and it almost looks like last night, right before bed, they said it was turning south. It doesn't look like it has. It looks like it might have taken a quick jog to the south, but with a storm this size, as you can see, the... Uh, what was that flash? Huh. I wonder what that was. The, the storm, the clouds are all the way up here, um, Panama City, and then all the way down here, basically the Keys. The entire state of Florida, the guy on the news said, if you're somewhere in Florida and you're not getting some effects of this, I would like to know where you're at. It's an entire state storm. And I think that's going to be the, the problem. Um, a lot of people are, are used to certain parts of Florida getting hit, and the part that doesn't rushes in linemen and rushes in all sorts of folks that can fix things well i don't think there's going to be other than way 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 out here out here by the border with with alabama 
near Mississippi, you know, they might be able to, you know, marshal some resources, not having been affected by it too much. But this area just got clobbered by Helene. So, you know, they're already. This looks like this almost looks like it might be swinging, swinging to the north side of Tampa. And that'd be that'd be something, something else for the major city of Jackson. We have Orlando or Tampa, St. Pete, Orlando. And then this thing roll up over Jacksonville. It almost looks like it's kind of even bending up towards South Carolina. It's, can you imagine? I mean, what? it's just unreal. This is the, uh, the hurricane warning. I mean, at this point, I don't know why they even bothered having, having red sections in red. I mean, what's this much of Florida that's all in the hurricane warning? You know, the effects of a hurricane warning are going to, you know, affect everything else. So, this is what I think a lot of people are going to wake up to tomorrow morning. They're going to be like, wow, it rained and rained and rained and rained. The rain didn't go anywhere. And there'll be cities, huge cities, just standing. And the water not going anywhere. Because there's nowhere for it to go. And that's just from the steady rain. You know, the story in the Bible about the the great flood that says it began to rain and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. It might not have been raining very hard. It might have just been a steady downpour. No, nothing that, on you know, if you had to deal with it for an hour or two, it would be the end of the world. But a steady downpour nonstop for 40 days and 40 nights, you know, that could flood anywhere. And I suppose at that time, if it was flooding as far as the eye could see, it would seem like it would be the whole world. And that'll present a whole nother challenge. That even when the water recedes, now you've got all sorts of vehicles underwater and contamination and sewer issues. You know, power lines are going to be last on a lot of people's uh, priority list. It's going to be debris. It's going to be water. It's going to be uh, sewer it's going to be all of these things that are going to be the real problem. So anyway, thank you very, very much. It's not much more that can be said at this point. feel very blessed to have continued to have power to even at this point. Um, once again, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and what is it? 9th of October. So God bless. Thank you guys so much. Very, very much appreciate it. As soon as I can get back. Up and running, I will get a video up and get you guys some images, but we have done all we can do at this point. Just a matter of wait and pray and lift each other up. God bless. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. See you guys next time. Take care.